What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be testing out a new foundation that just recently came out and of course as you all know I've been trying to get on board with new products to bring you guys my thoughts and um, give you a little review on the product uh, before you go out and buy it. So today's video is going to be another review and as you see for the thumbnail this is going to be the NYX the new NYX Cosmetics Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte Foundation and I have to tell you that I am so excited to be um, recording this video because I'm so excited <laughs> to be trying out this foundation guys like I am so ready to try this foundation I saw the post on this foundation from the fashion freak um, I think that's what she's called, the fashion freak, something like that. I saw this post on her Instagram such a long time ago. And she was like, this foundation is a bomb. I love it. And I was like, I've never seen like this foundation ever. Like I have never seen it. Like where is this from? So I did a little screenshot on her stories and I ended up going to NYX Cosmetics stores. And the girl that worked there was just like, I don't know anything about that foundation and I was like, oh, so this is top secret then. Okay, okay, NYX, I'll So I guess NYX was kind of like, send it to um, certain beauty gurus. And I don't even know why I didn't send it to me because hello. <laughs> um, I was like, okay. So I let it be and then when I saw, I started seeing um, the post of the foundation. I was like, there it is. I told my husband. My husband was like, what, what, what? I'm like, forget it. <laughs> so, tell, I am telling you guys, I'm so excited to try this foundation out. Like, I'm ready to tell you what I think about it. I'm ready to put it on my face because it's matte foundation. Okay. And I feel amazing about matte foundation. So, before we get onto the video and we start testing out this foundation and we start doing everything we need to do, you already know the drill. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down there make sure you're a part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here because we're reaching 4k before the end of the year yes did i say 4k 40k we're reaching 40k <laughs> and without your subscribe i cannot do it <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with a video mm -hmm. all right so i already done prep my face actually i lied I just use moisturizer. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply. I did apply moisturizer, and I'm not gonna lie. I did um, do a little, not exfoliating, but I did a little um, detox mask this morning from Derma E. So my skin is like a baby's booty. Very, sm very smooth. Very, very smooth. I feel like always prepping your skin is like a okay. key. For all this I have a couple of um, breakouts right here as you can see I got a couple of breakouts um, I have a lot of uneven skin tone so I really want you guys to see the coverage on this foundation so let's go ahead and get started um, I got color match at the NYX store I ended up getting a neutral buff which is a darker finish and then this one is nude so I ended up getting nude and neutral buff both of them okay so let's read what they claim to be so this collaborate this foundation is in collaboration with um her name is alisa ashley she actually created 45 shades 45 shades um i feel like there is a quite good range of foundations i think it's amazing not pretty well i think it's amazing and i just love that there's variety when it comes to a foundation because even myself i am tan sometimes i am light sometimes so it's kind sometimes to find foundations my my shade if there's only like 12. so there's 45 shades the foundation um runs for 15 dollars. i picked it up at 15 dollars at nyx cosmetics um so it's a pretty decent amount it's a pretty decent price for a drugstore foundation so i feel like more than 15 for a drugstore foundation it's just like you're ripping me off. I think this is a 1. Point fluid ounce, which I feel like it's perfect for a um, drugstore foundation. It is a glass material, so it's a glass bottle, and then it has a cap on it. And then, of course, we all love our foundations to come with a pump, so I love that this foundation has a pump. This is not the only foundation. This is not the only product that she that was launched with the foundation. There's also a primer. I didn't pick up the primer because um, 
I the primer is a matte primer. So matte primer, matte foundation, dry skin, not mixing. So I myself didn't pick it up because I am a dry skin and I'm already applying a matte foundation to my skin. I don't want to like do overdo it that at the end of the day my foundation starts cracking because it's over drying my skin. So I skipped on the fun I skipped on the primer so I won't be able to give you like my full details on the primer because I want to try out the foundation with the primer that I normally use, which is a CoverGirl Pore Minimizing Primer. So I am going to, um, I'm gonna try it by itself and see how it looks. I maybe have to um, mix a little bit of the lighter because maybe this one's a little bit too dark. So let's just try it out. Let's pump the foundation to see the, whoa, okay. Uh, okay, here we go. It is not too liquidy and it's not too thick that it just stays there and doesn't move and it's not liquid like it'll just run down your hands. I like it. Let's see how well it sits on my skin. So y'all know I like to apply dots of foundation onto my skin. Let's see how many pumps of these I'm gonna need on my face. So I'm just gonna do half of my face. And I'm not gonna even bother to do um, one side with foundation brush and the other one with uh, Beauty Blender because I go straight with Beauty Blender. So let's just try a couple of dots, one coat, Beauty Blender, and see how well that blends and sits to the skin. Let's go. Summer's gone, I'm latching on. Don't even know your name. You're still in my head Underneath rays of gold I have a lot of freckles and imperfections on this side I do have a scar here that that's what like that's like my Like my indication of full coverage when I can still see my scar. I'm like mm, This is medium coverage when I can't see my scar. It's like full coverage girl But I feel like yeah, it's so weird how I'm so light and I'm so tan I feel like the coverage is very nice. I feel like it blended very nicely to the skin. I feel like you can go up a little bit more if you're if you're like me, that you like OD full coverage, like you literally just wanna go all out. But I feel like it's super lightweight. It was very easy to blend. I had no problems blending the foundation. And definitely, definitely, I like the coverage on it. I do. I can leave it like this, honestly, and set it and probably just looks very full coverage. But I'm going to mix a little bit of this foundation with the lighter because I feel like this one kind of came off. Um, you see, it kind of came off a little bit too orangey, I think. I don't know. I'm going to mix it up together and um, I'm going to do a second coat and see how that works. No, I can't forget, no. When I saw you on the dance floor, oh, I was a you who saw me first. I guess it's history now, and I shouldn't care, but it still hurts. I didn't realize the danger. Okay, guys, so here is the foundation fully, fully applied to my face. Look at the coverage. Um, I like I said, I have um, I have a scar here that I like to hide it. I had a couple of breakouts on this side and uh, I don't see them. I don't see them. I love the finish. It is a matte finish, very matte. I feel like it's not as matte as the um, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation that I've been using lately, which I've been obsessed with, honestly. Um, but it's super matte, super mattifying. It is full coverage. I feel like I went in with a couple of, I, I went in with a second coat. <laughs> of the foundation and I feel like it just covered completely even it evened out everything it looks very beautiful guys honestly it's very lightweight I don't feel like it, it like it um like I have like a lot of foundation on me I love the finish like I said it's a beautiful matte finish I feel like you don't even have to set it because it is so mattifying but at the same time, it's it's a beautiful finish, and I honestly, as of right now, I like how it blended. I like how it feels on the skin, 
and I definitely definitely like the finish of it so this is a 24 hour so definitely all day I am going to move um, I'll let you know a little bit of how everything blended on my skin and then um yeah we'll take it from there all right guys so here is my completed makeup I decided to um, just do the whole full face for you guys and I created this makeup look yes I filmed it yes it will be up very soon <laughs> so uh, really quick everything blended very nicely together um, I apply like I said I apply a little bit of powder I set it my under eyes and of course I baked my face using a translucent powder and I just did the whole thing I apply bronzer conceal I apply bronzer um, blush and highlight I went all out like I normally would do on my face the only difference that I'm not going to be doing this time around is I'm not going to be um, setting my face with a setting spray because I want to see the how well the foundation holds itself together for the long period of time that it says it um it's a long wear it is the 24 hour foundation so um but i am going to just test it out during the day and at night before i wash my face i'm gonna go ahead and do an update so you guys can see um how well the foundation held under a mom schedule and under this florida heat because it is very hot outside so just to summarize right now, just to let you guys know, as of right now, I love the finish of the foundation, I love the coverage, and I love how it feels on my skin. I don't feel cakey, I don't feel heavy, and it doesn't look so matte to the point where you're just like dried out. Um, but it is a great foundation for oily skin. If you have dry skin like myself, make sure just to prep your skin before the foundation, and you'll be set. So yeah guys let's just go ahead and put her to the test um honestly speaking as of right now like i said nothing bad to say about it i feel like the quality is amazing the formula is great um the price range on the foundation for a one fluid ounce foundation for a drugstore i think it's just right around the that margin where you can buy a foundation that from the drugstore i feel like if you go over 15 dollars for a drugstore foundation you're a little bit overpaying um but i feel like uh I feel like $15 for the bottle is great. Um, it's a glass bottle, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, as of right now, I'm really loving the foundation. I really want to see how well it holds for a long period of time because that's like my main concern. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on with the last update and I'll summarize everything and give you my final thoughts on this foundation and if you definitely need to buy it or if you need, definitely need to pass on it. So yeah. So let's go ahead and finish this video wrap it up so i'm already home my pjs i'm about to wash my face and go to bed um it's been a 10 hour wear on this foundation and guys guys it is pretty bomb my foundation's still there everything is still perfect like perfect a-okay I'm telling you, 10 hour wear, Florida heat. I even took a nap and nothing came out. Nothing came out. I have full coverage. I can go hang out now. Like I legit can go hang out. So honestly speaking, after a 10 hour wear, it held pretty amazingly. It held itself pretty, pretty good. So yeah, honestly, I have nothing bad to say about it. All you have to do is go get yourself some. Okay, so there you go. I gave you my thoughts on it on a full day wearing it, all day wearing it, and that's what I thought about it. So I don't have anything else to add to this video. If you liked the video and you want to continue to see this type of reviews here on my channel, please do not go without giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button before we go. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for sticking till the end. Muchas gracias. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Adios.